Hi, my name's Nancy, and I have been requested to create a chair yoga class or a chair sit and stretch class for a community that I live in in Ohio, where I teach um, stretch core balance classes and lightweight strengthening classes. So this is my first go at it, and I want to tell you the benefits of chair yoga or sit and stretch. People older than 65, I'm almost 67, should focus on a combination of strengthening, mobility, balance, and aerobic exercise to keep us well-rounded and healthy as we age. It's really, really important. I think the most important factor as we age is the balance. And I will work on that because that re reduces our risk of falls by 40%. And it's such an important element of senior health. But this, this exercise is gonna focus on today just sitting in a chair and doing our stuff. And this is a, a good exercise way to start for people who have trouble standing for long periods of time, have difficult balancing, um, suffer from back pain, experience joint pain, or joint pain that makes it difficult for them to move. Um, they feel real stiff in the morning, limited range of motion or poor mobility, poor balance and a higher risk of falling during exercise. You're nice and secure on the chair. Recovering from a surgery or injury. I'm actually recovering from a broken toe, so this is all I can do right now. This is a good time for me to try and put this class together. Um, another reason to start out this way is if you've never exercised, maybe start out with chair exercises and work your way up to the standing exercises or a, a more difficult class. And you can also do it just if you want to shake up your routine and try something new. So what we're going to work on, we're going to improve your flexibility and your range of motion. Keep our muscles nice and stretched and elongated. We're going to keep your joints flexible. Decrease the joint pain and stiffness. I'm going to be working on your synovial fluids, which actually lubricate the joints. Um, I'm going to improve your muscle strength and your balance by strengthening your muscles. And that's going to result in improved balance. I'm going to increase your blood circulation and we do that by stretching the muscles but also because we do some breathing exercises at the at the start of the class and I'm going to help you elevate your mood and your concentration and lower your stress levels so let me tell you what to do I want you first to pick out a good chair if you look like this is a good chair it's got a nice solid back it's not on wheels you can sit on it where your feet are on the ground at a 90 degree angle um, put a little cushion on there if you want uh, for some bum cushioning and a good kitchen chair is really a good fit so find your chair hopefully you've already found it before you start this class and then we're going to show you how to sit properly in the chair so you're going to sit up straight near the front of the chair the front edge of the chair this is going to engage your abdomen because I'm not now back against the back because I have to sit up straight I'm gonna think about having a string of pearls from the top of my crown of my head to the spine of my tail, tip of my tailbone. And that's gonna make me sit up straight versus slouched over. So I'm rolling my shoulders back. I'm pushing my chest out, my, my sternum. I'm raising my chin to keep my neck aligned and basically looking forward. And this is really, really good posture. And just the fact that I pulled my shoulders back, I can feel my abs engage right away and we want our abs to stay engaged because they support our spine. So um, then place your feet, your toes are forward, your feet are hip width apart. And to make sure your feet are hip width apart, what you can do is to make a fist with both your hands and just put them in between your knees and that's gonna force your feet to be hip width apart. My legs are at a 90 degree angle. My toes are forward. I'm gonna roll those shoulders up and back and sit up nice and tall. And now we're gonna go into our breathing exercises. So, oh, I don't think this is going. Yes, it is, okay, sorry about that. So I do what I call elevator breathing. My posture is nice, I've opened up my airways perfectly. My heart's expanded, my chest is expanded. And when I do elevate, elevator breathing, I. I raise my hands to the count of four and, and the class participants inhale through their mouth or through their nose nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. 
and then I hold it for the count of four and you hold that breath and you've got your lungs expanded, your rib cage is up and expanded and then we release it slowly through the mouth. One, two, three, four, exhaling all that air out slowly. This is oxygenating our bloodstream, it's clearing our mind, it's helping to calm our nervous system and it's setting the tone for our exercise today. It's a really good thing to do every day. If you're having trouble sleeping at night, just do it while you're laying there in bed. So let's start with our breathing. We're sitting nice and tall, remember, 90 degree angle, feet hip width apart, knees hip width apart, and let's inhale through the nose. On a count of four, just key, you keep your arms down and I'll do the counting. Inhale up, one, two, three, four, hold the breath. Slowly exhale through the mouth. One, two, three, four. Inhale up, four fingers. Hold four. Exhale, four, through the mouth. Inhale nice and slow through the nose. Inhale, four. Hold four. Exhale through the nose, four, mouth four, I'm sorry. One more time, inhale through the nose, four. Hold four. Exhale, four through the mouth, slow. You might feel a little bit heady, but you should feel more alert and beginning to calm down. Now let's take a big inhale up, inhale. Reach it up above you, inhale, inhale, inhale. And blow it out. And again, inhale up through the nose. Reach for the sky and blow it out through the mouth. One more time, inhale up. Reach for the sky. Exhale, blow it out. And roll those shoulders back, bring them up and around. Tuck them into your back hip pockets like you're tucking your shoulder blades into some jean pockets. Bring them up and around and back. Up and around and back. Up and around and back. And let's reverse that. Let's bring it up forward and around. Up forward and around. Up forward and around up forward and around and shake your arms out. Just swing your arms left and right across each other in front. Shake it out, shake it out. And we're gonna start with some hand stretches. Working the joints, the synovial fluids in our hands. So I want you to take your hand and I want you to just roll it, roll it. Get those joints working in the wrist, clockwise rolls and counterclockwise rolls. My arm is shoulder height, straight in front of me. Now take your fingers and just crunch, 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 crunch. And then shake that wrist out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Bring the other arm across. Roll the fingers and the wrist, like that, clockwise and counterclockwise. Roll, work the synovial fluids. Get that soft tissue surrounding the joints and the membranes and just crunch it out that there we go and shake it out let's clasp our palms together in front of us and draw figure eights in the hand, in the ear with with our wrist just like in prayer position but we're drawing figure eights here now go backwards well, that takes a little bit of mental work to think about going backwards and then go forward and backwards and forward and backwards. Prayer hands, rolling them forward and backwards. And release and bring that right arm across. Always grab when you're stretching, always grab at the muscles. Don't grab at your joints. So I want you to grab right here where your bicep is and your shoulder and your deltoid. My, my, Arms reaching all the way across my body and I'm hugging this arm 
right here into my chest. And I'm opening up my shoulder here. I can feel that nice stretch across my shoulder. And just hold that stretch. Tall posture, keep your tall posture. Stretching out that shoulder. Now we're gonna go into our triceps. I want you to bring this elbow right next to the side of your head. And I'm gonna take, I'm pushing that tricep and I'm pushing this arm up. My hand is actually touching between my shoulder blades back here. Not everybody can do that, but at least try and strive for that. Ultimately, you will be able to do that the more you stretch out your triceps. Nice stretch in the triceps. Coming into the forearm and shoulder height. I'm bringing my hand down. I'm going to take these fingers and I'm going to pull them down. So it's a great stretch for carpal tunnel. And then I'm going to reverse it and I'm going to flex them back. Working on that wrist. Let's take them down again. And bring them back. Roll that wrist one more time for me and shake it out. Bring the other arm across. Hugging it into my body nice and tight. It's shoulder height. Reaching across my body over here, hugging this into my chest, feeling my left shoulder opening up. And just hold that stretch. And bring it behind you for your tricep, pushing the tricep muscle. Bring that elbow is right up there next to my ear, and I'm really stretching my tricep right here. Bring it forward, shoulder height. Take these fingertips and tug them down. Nice stretch in my wrist right here and working into my forearm for carpal tunnel. And reverse it, press them back. And reverse it again forward. And back. Roll that wrist clockwise and counterclockwise and shake it out. And just do a little bit of this. Swinging those arms, getting the blood flowing. Let's do a bicep stretch. So with a bicep stretch, I'm taking my thumbs, I'm making a fist, I'm taking my thumb, I'm pushing them back, I'm pushing my arms back and I'm opening up my chest, I'm crossing my pecs and my thumbs are pointed up and I'm gonna roll them and point them down and feel that work on your bicep. Works on the forearm too. Roll, roll. And while we're doing this, I'm gonna to talk to you about your pecs. We all get tight pecs because we sit all day at computers or we sit watching TV and we don't stretch out our pecs enough. Tight pecs are what cause us to get slouchy shoulders. That and weak ab, ab muscles, abdominal muscles. So we're gonna stretch our pecs today too, and that's gonna open up that chest area more and release the tight pecs and hopefully let our shoulders roll back a little more easier and stay back a little easier. Shake that out. So I want you to take, take your arms behind the chair and see if you can clasp them behind the chair and just pull your arms back and push your chest forward. And if you can't, just grab onto the chair right here and push your chest forward, but get a nice stretch into that chest, into the pecs, and bring it down and stretch it out. Work those pecs. But I'm gonna go back to hugging behind the chair and opening up my chest. I'm still not sitting with my back against the back of the chair. I'm sitting up straight and using my abdomen to keep my spine straight. Okay, shake it out. Now we'll do some neck stretches. We're going to take our chin and we're going to drop it to our chest. And we're just going to roll our neck over to the left. And let it feel good. You'll just feel that nice stretch of the neck and drop your chin and roll it over to the right. And just repeat this a few times. If anybody ever has you roll your neck backwards, do not do that. 
It's horrible for your cervical spine. Rolling forward's okay. You can probably even hear some little crinks in your neck right here. Wrinkles. That's okay. That's normal. Bring your head up. I want you to take, take your head and just give it a gentle tug to the right and take your left palm now and make a flat palm and press your palm down to the earth and feel that engage the stretch a little bit more across the top of your neck and shoulder right here. Right through here like that. And release it. Drop your chin down straight again to your chest. Feel that nice stretch up the back of your neck. Bring it up. Take your neck to the other side. Take your fingertips and give it a gentle, teeny little touch. Take your opposite palm, flex it and press it to the earth and feel that engage the muscle even more. Every time you're stretching, I want you to think about feeling the movement in the muscle and the, the engagement of the muscle. Because I could be doing this and getting a little bit of a stretch or I can actually take and make the stretch more functional for me by pulsing down with this hand and feeling the stretch. Okay, bring it back up, drop your chin forward, feel that nice stretch up at the back. Bring it up. This time I want you to drop your chin. I want you to turn your head and look at your right armpit. And now I want you to take your left palm and press it to the earth. And that muscle, that's gonna move that stretch a little bit further towards the back side of the neck instead of directly onto the side of the neck. Just a little bit of angle. Helps stretch that neck into a little bit more of a movement area and bring it up come forward drop your chin again bring it up okay drop your chin turn your head and look at your left armpit take your right palm press it to the earth and feel the engagement that should feel really good. And come back out and release. Okay, let's do some back stretches. This is one of my favorites. So it's called Eagle Arms. And what I'm gonna do is that my arm is 90 degree angle, face like this. Like a gold post arm, bring it out in front. I'm gonna take my right arm is on the bottom. I'm bringing my left arm across, and I'm crossing my fingertips like this. And I'm bringing them up. My arms are shoulder height, and right now I'm opening up those shoulder blades. And what I want you to do now is just push your elbows forward about an inch and feel the deeper stretch into those shoulder blades, and bring them back to your chest. Lift those fingertips up to the ceiling. Feel that stretch moving down your shoulders more into your lat area, which is the kind of like the side of your body. Up, up below the shoulder blades, I guess I could say. Your lateral muscles. And now bring it down. And I want you to tuck your chin and I want you to just roll forward into this. And just roll forward, feeling the stretch going to your rib cage into your lower spine, and this should feel really good. It's opening up that whole back area, stretching out the muscles in the ribs, and then roll back out of it, and release and shake it out, and just release. And then we're gonna do that to the opposite. So this time, my left arm's on the bottom, 90 degree angle, boop, 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 right in front of my head. Elbows lined up with my shoulder. My right arm's coming across the top and I'm clasping. And I'm going to pull my elbows forward away from my body, opening up those shoulder blades a little bit more. 
and hold that stretch and bring it back. Lift them up to the ceiling, up, up, up. Feel the stretch right into your lap muscles and just hold that stretch. This should feel really good, everybody. And bring it back down. Shoulder height, now I'm gonna tuck my chin down. I've got a nice stretch in the back of my neck. I'm gonna suck my belly button to my spine and rolling forward. Roll, 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 roll. Feel those shoulder blades opening up. Feel the stretch all the way down my spine. My rib cage is expanded, and my upper back's getting a really nice opening stretch. And then come back out of it, and release and shake. Okay, let's put our right hand down, right on the seat there. Take our left arm up, and just lean to the right. Keep your sit bones on the seat. Another thing I forgot to tell you, I should have told you at the beginning, is it's kind of nice to kind of spread that fleshy part of your bottom out on the seat so it balances you more and it protects your sit bones. And you want to feel your sit bones on the seat. Okay, right arm up, left arm's on the side next to me, and I'm just leaning to the right like I'm against a plate glass window, nice and straight. Upright posture, but leaning. And let's alternate that. Here we go to the right, reach across, and let's alternate it and bring it to the left. Let's just do a few more of these, just reaching and alternating up and over, opening up our ribs, loosening up our torso. Should feel good, waking up our bodies. One more to each side. There we go. And let's roll those shoulders back. Let's take our palms and flip them and bring them up and arch back a little bit. Feel a nice stretch in our abs. And come back center again. Reach for the ceiling, arch back. Nice stretch in the abs. Bring it down around, reach behind. This time I'm gonna move my bum a little bit closer to the edge of the seat. I'm clasping my hands behind. My feet are gonna go wider. And I'm just gonna come forward in between my knees and try and lift my arms behind me. And just hold that stretch. And come back out of it. And now that I've got you with your legs a little bit wider, we're gonna do what's called a seated cat cow. So I want you to put your hands right here on your thighs fingertips inward and you're gonna arch 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 like your angry cat and you're gonna roll forward stretch out that back and then come out of it and push your chest forward and come back angry cat roll it come out of it push the chest forward angry cat roll into it come out of it push the chest forward Two more times. Raise those shoulders, angry cat. Arched back like an angry, angry cat. Stretching that back and come out of it. Push the chest forward one more time. Roll. If you wanna see this like, to really get a feel for it, it'd probably be good to just log in online somewhere and look at cat cow and you'll understand more of the movement. It's kind of hard to show it at the same time I'm teaching it so that you're doing it perfectly. So now I want you to keep this hand like this. I want you to take your right shoulder and bring it down across your body towards your left knee. And just hold that stretch. And come up, up and alternate it. Left shoulder towards right knee. Come back out of it. Let's alternate that again, right? Shoulder to left knee. out of it other side and back out of it give yourself a hug hug yourself roll forward into it open up that back hug in your body 
telling yourself how much you love yourself and how much you appreciate your health and come out of it and shake it out. Okay, so we let's see, we've stretched our triceps and our biceps. We've done some shoulder work, we've done our neck work. Um, we can do some standing stretches behind the chair, but I'm not gonna do that yet, yet with this class. Maybe I'll do a more advanced class after this video. Um, let's do the fan pose. This is gonna be a good one too. So you're gonna sit forward towards the front of your chair you're gonna reach the arms back and you're gonna hold the chair at the top right here. And you're pushing your chest and heart forward and stretching out. And just hold that stretch, it should feel good. Take some inhales and exhales. That's another thing I teach in my classes is to breathe into the stretch. So if a stretch is hurting, let's do our sh shoulder rolls. If a stretch is bothering you or you wanna feel the effect of the stretch more, visualize inhaling into that muscle and feeling the oxygen and the warmth around that muscle. You can even visualize like a beautiful warm color and then exhale out of that muscle and feel the muscle release more. Okay. Um, Take the arms up to a V above you. Stretch your arms up. Lift the ribs up out of the hips. Creating length in the spine and bring them down. Bring them to a V above you again and stretch and reach. And bring them down. And bring them up and stretch and reach. And bring them down. And bring them up and stretch and reach and bring them down and shake it out. Roll those shoulders back again. Okay, what we're gonna do now is called a seated spinal twist. So I want you to sit up tall. And I just want you to, to grab, grab the left side of the chair right here. I want you to take your right arm and bring it across your left thigh. I want you to seat up, sit up tall, we're gonna inhale and we're gonna just look to the left a little bit, gently twisting our spine, and we're gonna exhale. And push up off the seat with your bum, inhale up. Look a little bit further over that left shoulder if you can, and exhale back down. One more time, we're gonna inhale up. We're gonna twist a little more in our chair if we can, and we're gonna look over that left shoulder, and we're gonna exhale and bring it back around and roll those shoulders back. Make sure you're sitting proper again. I want you to have your abdomen sucked in. I always call it sucking your belly button to your spine. So squeeze that belly button into your spine. Nice tall posture. Take your left hand, bring it over to your right thigh. Take your right hand, push up off of it. Inhale, look over your right shoulder and exhale. Push up off with that palm, inhale up. Look a little bit further over your right shoulder and exhale. One more time, push up off the chair. Inhale, look a little further over your right shoulder. Exhale, bring it down and release. Okay, so now let's go into some leg stretches. I want you to take your, or, well, let's do some ankle and joint and foot stretches for our synovial fluids in our feet. I got my slipper on, take my slipper off. So what I want you to do is take your foot, take your toe and just point your toe into the carpet and roll your foot left and right, clockwise, eight times clockwise, just like a ballerina roll like this, into the ground and then counterclockwise. And then I want you to Take your toe and crunch your toe forward and stretch out that arch and come back and bring that heel up and flex that foot. It's hard for you to see this, I know. This isn't good, sorry. And let's do the opposite foot. 
roll it clockwise and counterclockwise. I'm going to do the same foot again because I can't do anything with this leg. So roll clockwise and counterclockwise. Crunch the toes forward, stretching out the arch of the foot. Bring the toes up, stretching out the heel. Stretch them forward. Back heel forward back heel and release okay I'm going to do a hamstring stretch so I want you to take this this right leg and extend it forward my left leg is at 90 degree angle my foot's flexed and I'm just not locking my knee I got a nice little bend in that knee and I'm just going to come forward and lean into that right leg and I'm feeling a nice stretch all the way up the back side of my right leg feel that and point that foot and bring it back up flex into it and point and flex do you know that there's 26 bones and 30 joints and 100 muscles and tendons and ligaments in our feet so it's really important to loosen them up and keep them strong and let's come back out of that. Let's take our other leg, drop it in front. This leg's 90 degree angle. Flex that front foot and just lean into it and feel that nice stretch up the back of that leg. Point your foot and flex and point and flex and point flex and point okay okay now we're gonna put both legs forward in a v-shape like this and we're just gonna lean towards the I want you to hang on to your seat my heat my toes are up and I'm just coming forward into that right thigh I'm coming back out of it and I'm going this way and I'm coming forward into the left thigh don't fall off your chair. And come back out of it and go forward into the right thigh. And come back out of it and forward into the left thigh. And come back out of it and bring your legs back together. Readjust your position. Spread those cheekbones. Get those sit bones adjusted onto the seat. String of pearls from your spine to your tailbone. Suck those bellies in. And we're gonna just pulse, pull our knees into our chest to stretch our knees. So bring your, your right knee up and just hold it into your chest. As high up as you can get it. Just give it a nice hold and stretch, tall posture. And release and do the left and bring it up. Hold. And release, opposite leg. And release, and opposite leg. And release. Now this next one's gonna be hard to do, but what I want you to try and do, this is gonna help release our hip area and our glutes and our sciatic area. A lot of our lower back pain is caused not because our backs are sore. We have weak muscles around our back and in our abs. If we have weak ab muscles, we're gonna create more back pain. But a big cause of lower back pain is, is tight hamstrings, which go up the back of your thigh, and glutes, which are up the back of your bum. So I want you to take your, your right leg and cross it over and sit like a man would sit. My left foot is 90 degree angle behind, straight down. And right now I'm getting a nice stretch in the in the right hip right here. I want you to just sit up tall. This is called a seated bound angel. And I want you now to just take your chest and drop it towards your calf. A, only a little bit, only as far as you can. And feel that nice stretch up the back of your hip. Opening up that sciatic area, stretching out the glute. Come back out of it and let's reverse that left leg over right I don't know if I can do this one with this thing 
Okay, tall posture and drop your chest towards your, towards your, right here, towards your calf. And just feel that left hip open up, feel that left glute stretching out, kind of expanding the sciatic area a little bit. And come back out of it, cross that leg over. We're gonna do another seated twist. So I'm gonna breathe up, twist to the left, look over my left shoulder and exhale. I'm going to reverse that. I'm going to cross my right leg over my left. I'm going to push up off that right hand. I'm going to inhale up. I'm going to look over my right shoulder and exhale. Okay, come back. All right, what happened to my music? Hmm. Um, okay. groin stretch. All right, legs wide apart, press hands on thighs and lean forward. So you're pushing your legs out and you're getting a nice stretch in your adductor here. And we're just push it out and lean forward a little bit and stretch out that groin, stretch out those adductors, which are the interior thigh muscles. And come back out of it. And pull them apart and stretch. Lean into it, feel that stretch in the adductors. And come out of it. I don't think I have any music. And pull apart and lean forward and stretch. And come back out of it. And let's march those legs a little bit. There's another stretch I can do that's a seated lunge, but I'm gonna save that for the advanced class. Okay, strengthening. I'm gonna have you do a little bit of strengthening exercises. So I want you to stand up out of your chair like this. I want you to come behind your chair. Tall posture. Roll those shoulders back. And I want you to take, stand on your right leg and take your left leg and we're just gonna take it out and bring it back. Flex that foot out and bring it back. Out and bring it back. Out, get a nice contraction there, bring it back. My hips are staying square. I'm using the chair for balance. Out and bring it back. One more time. Out and bring it back and release. Okay, we're gonna do the other leg. Stand on your left leg, hold that chair for balance, flex it out and bring it back. Flex it out, bring it back. Flexing means my foot's flexed out. Bring it back, work in the abductor muscles, which are the outside of the thigh. Out and bring it back. Out and bring it back. Okay, this time I want you to, I'm gonna do it from this angle so you can see, you're gonna stay in the back of your chair and you're just, my knees are together, I'm pushing it back and bringing it back. Keep my foot flexed, back, back, bring it back, tall posture. The only thing moving is that leg. And when I'm doing this, I'm strengthening my hamstrings, I'm strengthening my glute muscles, which is important to keep your muscles strong because your muscles protect your joints. So you want strong glute muscles and hamstrings to protect your hip joints. You want strong quads to protect your knee joint. Okay, and let's reverse that other leg, okay? Here we go. Press it out and bring it back. Press it out, bring it back. Notice how my posture is stable. The only thing moving is that leg that I'm pressing out and back. My foot's flexed. When I go back, I feel a nice contraction in my bum. Out and bring it back. Press it out and bring it back. Press it out and bring it back. And come sit down again. Okay, we're gonna do some strengthening. Just some leg lifts. So I want you to lift your left leg and bring it down and lift your right leg and bring it down. My legs are a 90 degree angle. Little march is sitting. Check your posture. You're not up against the backrest. You're towards the front of your seat. Press it out, bring it down. Press it out, bring it down, up, 
up, up, up, up, up, and release a minute and relax. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring it up and we're going to kick it out and bring it back and down. So bring it up, kick, back, down. Opposite up, kick, back, down. Kick and extend. Kind of like a march with an extend. This is a good exercise to do when you're on an airplane so you don't get blood clots. Do the marches in your seat. Do these if you can. I guess you have to be in a first row to do the kick, but the big thing, do those marches. Do some calf flexations when you're sitting there in the air, airplane to get that blood flowing and contracting those muscles to squeeze the blood so it goes back up towards our heart and we don't end up with a blood clot on an airplane ride. Okay, and bring it down and release. So hopefully your quads are feeling that. Um, this is one that I have everybody always do. It's called sit to stand. So I want you to focus on, my legs are a 90 degree angle. We always use, we always use our bodies to push ourselves out of chairs. I want you to hold your arms out front like this, and I want you to just push up and stand without using the armrest and sit back down and push up off your heels and stand and sit back down. We're doing some quad work here and strengthening our legs, push up. So think about doing this all the time. Don't use your armrest on your sofa. Don't use it on the kitchen chair. Don't use it on the lazy boy. Two more times, up and out and sit down and up and out and sit down. And march those legs and shake them out and release. So that's a little bit of leg strengthening for us. Um, so a little bit of abs. So with abs, the knee lifts were a little bit of ab work for us. Um, we're gonna do what's called tummy tuck in suck ins. So I want you to sit up tall and I want you to just feel your ab, your belly button and squeeze it in towards your spine and hold and release. Suck that belly in. Hold, squeeze it into your spine and release. Suck it in and squeeze it into your spine and contract it in and hold and release. We're going to do five more of these for a total of eight. Squeeze it in and suck it in as hard as you can and hold and release. We want to keep our abdomen strong because that really supports our spine and our core. And we want strong core strength, which helps us to balance. And I'm going to do some balance work with you a little bit today. Because it's so important to do. Squeeze that ab in tight. And release. One more time. Squeeze it in as tight as you can. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And release. Okay. Let's do sitting crunches. So I want you to bring your arms up behind your head. Just take these fingertips and gently rest them behind your ear. I don't want you yanking on your head. I'm going to bring my, my, my arms are out. I'm opened up my chest. I'm bringing my left knee up to my right elbow and down. I'm bringing my right elbow up to my left knee and down. And let's do some of these. Just alternate left, alternate right, and down, alternate left. I'm keeping my elbows back. I'm not crunching forward into this thing, like slouching into it. I'm trying to bring that knee as far up to my elbow as I can. Alternate, keep going. We're gonna do eight more. Eight, eight, seven, seven, you're doing great. Six, these are hard, aren't they? Six, five, five, here we go. Across four, four, three, Three, I wish I wouldn't have lost my music. Sorry about that. Two, two, one more. Make it your best. Really reach across over that elbow to that knee. Bring that knee up and reach across and shake it out. Roll those shoulders back. Let's inhale up. 
reach it for the sky, arch it back a little bit, stretch those abs, bring it down, and release. Okay, let's do a little bit of balance work. I want you to stand up. The key to balance is to spread your feet out to the earth. Like you're grab, you're spreading your toes and you're grabbing that earth. And I want you to, I'm gonna try and do it this way here. Let's see. We're gonna just um, hang onto the chair, put your arm out, your left arm out, hang on with your right arm and the right chair and just bring your knee up, 90 degree angle and take it down. Don't touch the earth. Bring it up and take it down. You can also have your hand up like this if that's better. Bring it up, take it down. You're using that right leg to balance you. And what I'm doing is building muscle memory into the right leg stabilizer and twitcher muscles. And what that does is we build this muscle memory at the same time we're strengthening the leg. And when you do go to fall, those stabilizer and twitcher muscles kick right into gear and help you not fall. So balance work is really important as we age, probably the most important element of senior fitness. Keep bringing it up and down. This time bring it up, hold it there. Now this is gonna be hard. Hang onto that chair and just close your eyes and feel your body twitching a little bit. Hang onto your chair and then open your eyes and bring it down. And go to the other side, we're gonna do the other leg. I have to do the same leg again because I can't balance on the broken toe thing. So you go to the other side of the chair like this. You're going to grab with your left arm. You're going to bring your right arm up this time.